I'm sick. That's it's just I just always am. You know, that's why I'm the sick one. Like that's my character trait is just being sick. And there are little traces of that sickness, like little dribblings of mental throw up, like on the bib of my brain stomach. No, I kind of lost the metaphor there. Um, not that that answers any of your question. Uh, do I really want to get better? Yes. Do I want to find treatment that works? Of course. Do I like coughing all the time? No. Do I wish I was stable instead of bipolar? It depends on my mood. <laughs> right? <laughs> because... I know I haven't been keeping my cystic fibrosis under control. I have to start taking my mental health more seriously. I know that. But I, d I do really want to get better and I believe that I can. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Yeah, you're not going to get better. Why not? Because you think you're an expert on yourself. So you don't accept help from anyone else who tries to offer it. Why not? Because guess what? You're not an expert on yourself. Why not? Because that's your fifth bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios this morning, and you haven't been awake for 40 minutes. I mean, hell, I'd rather be no one at all than someone who didn't care. And you know what? I don't care. I care you care. Everything I've done since that day has been a mistake. Especially you, Trevor. Especially you, Trevor. Oh, I wasn't talking to myself, I hope. Yeah, pet, it's Dick. Yeah, how you doing? Especially you, Trevor. <laughs> no, I'm doing Especially good, man. You. Hey, listen, uh, the reason why I'm calling is, hey, 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 hey. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay, I have a little brother. So I it's... don't care. I don't care, I'll fire all the rounds. It'll be like Christmas Day on President's Day on, on Labor's Day. No, I know it's Labor Day, but I say Labor's Day. Ow! Oh, hey. No, listen, I'm not trying to make a bonfire out of a forest fire, but, some, but what I'm saying is that I, when I come in... Ow! Hey! Hey! Stop! Stop! Give me that! Just draw, okay? Draw. Right, what were we saying? No, it's my son. He's a fuck... He's a freak... He's a freaking shithead. I'm drawing you. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> This is, is your hair and your reading. Uh-oh, why am I frowning? Uh, you're frowning because you aren't really um, interesting. And no matter how many times you read over that script and conclude that the writers are talentless, you don't even have enough talent to get work as an actor. And even in an alternate universe where you did have the emotional and intellectual strength, you would be kidding yourself if you thought that if you thought that the 21st century entertainment business had room for your Jewy nose or your calf bear and hip, which are features for you that are not, for you are not interesting or convention pushing, they're just dull and a little bit upsetting. And I made your jacket just like regular green because um, the app doesn't have that color. No. Kevin did not say that. <laughs> you know, it's 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 funny because it's Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I have a. Don't miss out.
Um, do I just... Yeah. What's your name? Victoria Youngblood. Um, I actually just put those out. Um, sorry. You have an appointment with Allison, our nutritionist? No, no, no. I'm, I'm a cystic fibrosis patient. I'm here to see Dr. Foreman. Dr. Foreman doesn't come in on Mondays. What? She thought that Dr. Foreman comes in on Mondays. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid. Look, I'm not supposed to see a nutritionist, okay? That's a um, mistake. And when was the last time you saw a nutritionist? Um, same time my ion channel saw a functioning system for transporting sodium. Because <coughs> of cystic fibrosis. <clears throat> um, you know what? I appreciate your extension of a helping hand toward improving my health. I recognize that I am not an expert on myself, and so I will see a nutritionist. And you have an appointment with us today? You, you just said I did with, like, Olivia or something. Uh, Olivia doesn't come in on Mondays. You'll be seeing Allison, our nutritionist. Great, sure, Allison, whatever. And your name is? Victoria Youngblood. You can go in. Yeah, Evan, <laughs> this girl, she was just standing there. I was like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah. Yes? Hi. Um, I just wanted to remind, well, I just wanted to let you know, make sure that you knew that I have to leave at one instead of three today. I have an audition. Actually, it's a callback. <laughs> oh, wow, an audition for a show? Yeah, um, it's a play going up at La Papa down in the village. I love La Papa. Their work is always so fertile. Who's the dramaturg on that? I'm not sure, but, um, my favorite playwright, Jennifer Tambor, uh, wrote the play that this play is a prequel to, and it's like this comedic part, but it's also substantial, and I just really think that I can. That's and very just... exciting. Thank you. But so that's why I have to leave at one instead of three. Sorry. You have to leave at one, so will you be here at two? N no, um, the callback is at 145, and I asked if they could push it later, because I know I have this, but they it just... Um, I bet they, they are so busy this time of year. Yeah, they're actually holding out auditions for a whole other production, too, today. It's well, like, this is just, I mean, very exciting for you, right? Ah, yay! So, but you'll stay here instead? Uh, um... Is there a project that you need me to do? Yes, thank you. You are so helpful. <laughs> it's just these rejection letters to send out. Oh. Um. Well, I actually have all these emails, so I can just send out a quick mass email. A mass email? That seems kind of impersonal. I don't know. What, what do you think? I mean, I just feel like they'll take it personally. I mean, these are rejection letters, right? Exactly. So yeah, if you could just do kind of an individualized message for each person, that would be great. Thank you. So you want me to send out 350 individualized rejection letters? Right, yeah. So for instance, like, let me show you. So Jessica Willits. Now, I'm not a crazy fucker, but she picked me a blood transfusion last year, so I feel like you have to be kind of nice. So just work it in somehow. First thing, maybe just tell me who's accepted and wait to. But convey the fact that she's rejected now and forever because we're never going to hire her. Alright, well, thanks, Rachel. Um, the other intern's name is Rachel. My name's Nora. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow, Rachel. No, 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 my name is Nora. Your name is Rachel!
Hello. Oh, let's get some vitamin D up in here. All right. Victoria? Can I call you Vicky? Oh, no, um, please don't. Uh, you can call me Vixie if you want. All right, Vixie. Um, so we're just going to talk about food and nutrition today. I, I guess we are, which, by the way, I am feeling fine about. Great. Um, so if any time during our time you get hungry, we've got some coconut water and almonds over there. Just treat yourself. Oh, um, I actually, I just ate breakfast, so I'm, I'm okay. Oh, really? That's, that's a little late for breakfast, um, but that's a great place to start. So, um, what did you have for breakfast? Cereal. What kind of cereal? Honey Nut Cheerios. All right. Anything with the cereal? Milk. Anything else? A spoon. What kind of milk? Like 1% skim, soy, cashew, goat's, Pediasure formula? It was whole milk. <laughs> oh, oh my god, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I just didn't expect you to say that. Um, let's move on to your uh, food mindfulness and aspiration chart. So here, um, you're just gonna put in the time of each meal, each day, and then check off in categories of three foods. So you got your grains, you got your vegetables, you want you to get at least two hard-boiled eggs in each meal, four to 12 green foods, enough fish oil. When you're done, you just tally it all up, and then you just jump off bridge. What did, you, what, what did you say? Just tally up your food and then find a bridge and jump off it. Oh, oh. oh okay. Okay, great. Great to see you, Vicki. Okay. Vixie, you promised the Cheerios this morning were your last one. Okay, well, this one is my last one. Who cares? I mean, hell. I'd rather be knowing all than someone didn't care. You know what? I don't care. I care you care. But everything I've done since that day has been a mistake, especially you, Trevor. What? Never mind. Give me the box. Come on. Is this all that's in the house? Mm-hmm. And now I really think you should stop doing cocaine. How did your audition go? It was a callback. How did the callback go? It didn't. I didn't get to go because my boss wouldn't let me leave. She needed me in the office. Nora, you dumb cunt. You can't keep letting that dumb cunt tell you what to do. Vixie, you can't just use the word cunt. It hasn't been fully reclaimed yet. No, it's in the process of being reclaimed. We have to keep saying it. I listen to a podcast about this, trust me. You, we have to keep saying it so that it gets reclaimed. So you just have to say it a lot. Okay, so I have to be like, my boss is a dumb cunt. Yeah. But she's not. She's super nice. No. Okay, is she even really your boss if all she does is micromanage you and doesn't even pay you? Like, if a tree falls in the woods. Okay, the but if a tree falls in the forest and doesn't get paid, should the tree really be surprised because the tree did apply to an unpaid internship? If I pick my nose in the forest, should I get paid? <laughs> that doesn't work. I thought we were just saying funny things. I mean, we were. Both bears.